Wow, that was a mouthful. I'm taking the shade, the, oh my God, I'm taking the shade. I was like, where's the mirror? Get it together, dude, get it together. welcome or welcome back to my channel today i am going to be showing you guys how to get a flawless base with no foundation yes you heard it here no foundation basically i just thought i would show you guys kind of what took me such a long time to kind of figure out that i don't need to wear full coverage every single day and i thought my skin would kind of be like the perfect skin to show you guys that it doesn't really matter if you have perfect skin to wear like coverage and makeup obviously my skin is not perfect and i feel like it is such a stereotype to give people with acne like oh she doesn't have good hygiene and she doesn't take care of her skin because i promise you i take care of my skin trust me it's not like i want my acne you know i feel like that is like a common stereotype and for a really long time literally up until probably like three or four months ago i realized like i don't need to wear full coverage makeup to hide it like I should embrace my skin and that's what I've been doing lately it definitely just gives you like a lot more self-confidence and everything like that I just feel like now like I can go without foundation and I feel like a couple months ago I would never be able to say that I still love to wear full coverage don't get me wrong but I've also learned to embrace my skin and everything like that if you want to see how I get my flawless base with no foundation then just keep on watching. Also, please be aware that I am not a professional yet. I am not a professional, so these steps I've noticed work for me, but they might not work for you. So just make sure to always keep that in mind. These are just my tips and what I feel like makes my skin look the best. And yeah, if I don't mention any of the products that I'm using because I ramble so much, I will make sure to have everything linked down below. First step that I'm doing is I'm taking my Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty and I'm just gonna moisturize my skin. Key to having like a perfect, flawless base is you always wanna make sure the way that you're prepping your skin is right for your skin, if that makes sense. You're not gonna have good makeup if your skin isn't prepped the correct way. Hey, I'm editing my video and I just realized that I lost some of the footage. So basically I was just talking about my acne and I was just talking about the stereotype thing that I was talking about earlier. So sorry that it jumped. Times acne is genetic and no matter what you do, you're gonna get it. And that's how it runs like in my family. A lot of the girls, like they have like the acne scars and everything like that. You shouldn't have to feel like you have to wear makeup because you have acne. You should embrace it and just do what works for you. So that's what I like to do. And using my concealer kind of helps because it helps me realize like I don't need to have so much of a full coverage look, if that makes sense. So just make sure to always keep that in mind. I'm just gonna spray my face with the Hemp Facial Mist really quick, just to get it, again, nice and hydrated. At first, I used to always just wear foundations. They were always full coverage, and I was always like, how do you just have like such a flawless face without any foundation? And I was pretty skeptical of it, and so when I saw videos of it quite a while ago, I noticed like people would like just use their concealer but then like they would put it all over their face and then I would be like what's the point like you might as well just use foundation obviously concealers can be full coverage and you can get light coverage foundations as well but concealers are just a lot thinner and a lot lighter than foundations so you kind of are putting less on your face if that makes sense and I have a couple different like concealer colors and everything but if you have just a one concealer this look will totally work for you as well i started out with only using just one concealer so one is darker and one is lighter so what i like to do i'll take the one that's more my skin tone i'll just do like a little light swipe oh it's a big swipe over my acne scars and then i'll kind of just take it right there and then just right there and maybe a little on the chin so it is going to look crazy especially if this is your first time but don't worry it will all work out in the end i'll just take a morphe brush just to get more product out of it and better payoff and i'll just take it and blend it out 
and if there's a day where I'm like I just want a little bit more coverage like just put some more on it's not that big of a deal no matter what it's still gonna be lighter than foundation unless you're using like the whole thing After I have that all blended out on my face, I know we look quite scary. I'm taking my lighter one on the inner corner of the eye and then bringing it like that on the side and then just a little bit right there. So just those three spots I like to highlight. And then I'll just take that over my eyes as well. Now what I do is I'll decide if, if I want to use more creams that day or if I'm going to stick to powders. So today I'm just going to stick with powders. So now I'm going to set my face and this is also a really good tip that I just learned. You want to use like creams and stuff. You shouldn't set your face and then use the creams like that doesn't make sense to put powder on your face and then put a cream back over it you really don't want to set your face until you're done and i know it's hard because it does take away like some of the coverage and stuff like that but sometimes you don't even need to set your face and i think a lot of people like make that mistake if you're gonna use creams then stick to all creams until you're ready for powder but if you're gonna use powder then just set your face when you're done so I'm gonna use powder today, so that's why I'm setting my face. And this goes for the same as if you're gonna use foundation as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and then I will be back. Now we're gonna move on to the rest of the face. So now I'm going to contour my face and I'm just taking a contour shade that I have and a Morphe kind of angled fluffy brush. So we did kind of a lighter coverage look on our face so we don't want to do really heavy like contour if that makes sense or else you're just gonna look very muddy or it's just it's gonna look weird it's kind of just like putting on contour when you have nothing else on your face because it's so light what we put on I've given this tip before when contouring your face you don't want to contour like like that because you're not making that face throughout the day you're mostly smiling hopefully so you want to do it smiling and see like how I get like that just small line with my chubby cheeks that's where I want to contour and I'm taking it very lightly in circle like motions I'm gonna do it on my cheeks and then I'm also gonna take it lightly on my forehead I'm also going to contour my nose with the same color. Oh, I do want to add some bronzer to the face just because like I said, we used concealer and concealer can just be a little light. So I do want to add just some color to the face. I'm taking my NYX matte bronzer and I'm taking just this more fluffier brush not so like condensed so it's a very light so it's not gonna apply it heavy and I'm just gonna and for an even more bronzed look and this can actually give the illusion to your face that you're a little bit more glowy in a way if that makes sense I'm actually just gonna take that bronzer on an eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna apply it in my crease just so our eyes aren't so naked, but it also matches with the color that we have on our face. It kind of creates like a balance. Also gonna be adding blush. I'm taking my Jouer blush in the shade Kiss Me. Again, you just wanna smile. And then sometimes I'll just mix it with the contour and messily put it on my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and let everything kind of melt together. So again, I'm taking my Hemp Facial Mist Spray. And this is a really good step that you always wanna make sure that you do because we did use a lot of powders. So you always wanna make sure once you set it already with powder, you want to make sure all the other powders that you put on top of your very first powder, that they're all melted together and they all look very seamless. And that's gonna help you really create 
the perfect base so your makeup looks airbrushed. Wow, that was a mouthful. Let me just tell you, I have been drinking so much water now that it's quarantine and it's making me realize that like when I'm really not sitting at home, I am drinking so much other crap and not doing enough water and it's so bad for you. So definitely make sure you're staying hydrated. Now I'm gonna move on to mascara. So I'm gonna be using the Benefit Their Real Mascara and the L'Oreal Telescopic on my top and bottom lashes. And then I'm gonna apply this LA Girl Glide Eyeliner on my top waterline. Just another helpful tip if you're like me and every time you do your mascara, you always get it on the top of your eyelid. Take like a little spoolie and you just like wipe it off. And then if it's still there and you still can't get it off like later, then you can get a Q-tip and then that should usually get the job done. All done with my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and add some highlight. So adding highlight to this look kind of makes it glowy and gives it the illusion that it's glowy, if that makes sense, especially if you've done all your other steps right in the way that you prepare your skin and the way that you set it, you know, all of that. So I'm taking my Huda Beauty palette and I'm taking the shade, the, oh my God, I'm taking the shade Seashells. It's this golden color on a Morphe brush. All my brushes feel so soft because I've, just clean them and I literally haven't cleaned them in like 10 years so <laughs> that's just an exaggeration I just haven't cleaned oh my god I was like where's the mirror get it together dude get it together I don't even remember what I was saying I cleaned my um oh my god I just haven't cleaned my brushes in a long time I literally don't know how to talk today doing that on my cheeks down my nose tip of the nose you can never add too much highlight in my opinion okay and to finish off the look like i always say you guys know me i don't like my lipstick so i'm using the fenty beauty lip gloss and this is in the shade fussy off the look we just have to set our face so I'm again using the hemp facial spray and I'm gonna set my whole face and drench it in this all right you guys that is it for today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed don't forget if you did to like and subscribe and comment down below any other video suggestions that you guys have I really hope that you guys got some helpful tips from my video and let me know down below if my tips helped you or if you have any tips that you would like to share with me because I would love to hear them don't forget if you want to see more of my videos to turn on my post notification bell so you get notified for all my new ones and I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy during this quarantine season and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!